everyone, this is Be Made with Family Travel Africa. In my last videos, you've watched me make treats from Cameroon, Egypt, and Senegal. And today, we're going to make a treat from South Africa. I had to learn how to pronounce it. It is called Kukista. I was looking online for a yummy African treat and I found cookies on Immaculate Bites. So thank you Immaculate Bites and let's get started. Cookies is a yummy fried dough treat that goes with syrup. So we're gonna get started with the syrup. We have sugar, lemon juice, water, ginger, cream of tartar, and cinnamon sticks. Please check out her website for the exact measurements. Let's move over to the stove top to make our syrup. So to start our syrup, we're using a saucepan and we're going to turn the stove to medium heat. What are we doing now? We're going to put our water in now. So you're mixing all those ingredients. You're going to pour them all in there? Yes. Okay. Let's see how that looks. So we're back here at the stove and it smells very good. You it's can pretty smell, gingery. Yeah, the ginger. Okay, be a, <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. And so we probably just need to leave it like a couple more minutes and we're totally done yeah. with uh, our syrup. So. Why isn't it like thick as syrup? It will be. So oh. we just have to let it keep going. Um, so so boil about 10 minutes This is here. how you make your own syrup. <laughs> uh-huh. As opposed to buying it from the store? Yes. So now we're going to drain our syrup. Seems like a very light syrup there, huh? Mm -hmm. I just love the aroma, the ginger, mm -hmm. and all that. So we're going to start with our dough now. And we have flour, salt, baking powder, sugar, corn flour, butter, eggs, and milk. Let's start. So I'm going to put all of the dry ingredients in first. Mixing up the dry ingredients, going to add the white ingredients. So that's uh, milk. Milk. Okay. Butter. It's your melted butter. Yeah. Nice. And egg. And a fork. If you'd like. So we're going to mix these up, and if I remember correctly, this is where we get really 
into it because yeah. you're going to have to use your hands at some point. I always like to start out by using my spatula when I'm making doughs. And then inevitably you have to move uh, from the handheld device to just using those hands. I'll see you getting there. So we moved on to the hands. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good workout. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Is it? Gonna be good. <laughs> Can I get some exercise? Some hand exercise. You want some hand exercise? Is it? Yeah, but you know what? You have to wait a second. Just in a little bit, we can even have you wash your hands and join us. All right? Okay. Okay. So I got my dough all formed up, but what you didn't see was that my mom came and helped me get it formed because it was a real workout. So if you're doing this by yourself, don't be afraid to ask for help. Since we finished uh, forming our dough, we're going to start shaping the close coasters. So I've wiped down my counters top so I can use them for making my close coasters. I'm going to toss a little bit of flour and I'm going to put some on my rolling pin. So now that we're ready making our cookie stirs, as a general rule, I would like I like to half my dough. So you got one half, so you're gonna half the one half again. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see how that turns out. Start with that. So by halving it so many times, it just makes it easier to work with, right, Bina? Yes. That's my trick too. Fattened out my dough. I am ready to cut out what I need to braid for my cookie You pinch the ends so they hold. Okay. okay. And there we go. So this is the, the part that just reminds me of chala bread. Remember mm -hmm. when you, you had me uh, used to make the chala bread and braid it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you see how you braid over? Mm -hmm. That's just awesome because I tend to braid under. But whichever way, this should work out. Whether you braid over, like a French braid, or you braid under, uh, it's totally fine. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Looks like we've got two helpers with us. Azette. You're on camera. You're supposed to be sleeping, Tata. Aza, same with you. But you guys just want some treats, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, Bine is indulging you.
Essa é série. Because there is a lot of dough, mom helped me, but it still was a lot of fun. And it made it go faster. So we have two pieces left. And I know what I'm going to do with them. It's going to be really cool. So this I, is going to be the surprise piece? I don't know what's going to turn out like. Okay, I guess we should just cut here and then wait to show everyone what you did in the end, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's really hot. So you really want an adult to help you with this part. The idea, right, Beanie? Remember we read about pinching the ends of it? Yes. Before you um fry it, you have to make sure all of the ends are pinched so it doesn't unravel and become just lines. Remember, you're in the pot. Pretty good that you can see some of them started opening up, right, Pine? Yeah. So, this one looks really nice. I love this braid. This kind of reminds me, Pine, you remember Ching Ching? Yeah. It's almost like a braided Ching Ching, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if it tastes like it. <laughs> that tastes a little different, but those look beautiful. This is our second batch, and we really made sure we pinched those ends this time, right, didn't we? So it looks like they held together pretty nicely this time, much better than the last time. They look really good. They look good. 
This really does look like ching ching. Well, I bet you it doesn't taste the same, so let's try it out. So, Bine, this looks fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> I know you're always anxious to taste, so I'll let you go right at it. Yeah. Put the syrup on first? I would just dunk it in there. What do you think? Okay. Take one. Yeah, we actually let these cool down a little bit. What's that like? It does taste like ching ching. It's like ching ching? <laughs> well, it's got to be a little different because the ingredients are a little different. No, we can make ching ching. Oh, you're choosing to put the syrup? Okay. All right. So, Bine, I was so curious as to what you did with that last piece of dough. So let's 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 see what you came up with. FTA. Okay. Travel Africa. Very nice. Well, I like that. FTA. Family Travel Africa. And this is such a treat because you really could have it any time of day. And the syrup is what takes it to the next. I could use that syrup for a lot of different things, I think. Mm. All right, well, bon appétit. Merci, Merci. I hope you like my video. Yes, you do. Subscribe.